Hello everybody and welcome to the 106th Death Diary. With awesome news we released a huge content update on Steam Early Access and it's now live so go and get it, watch the trailer which is by the way super awesome, thank you Chris very much and enjoy the new content. So many goosebumps moments. Definitely my favorite trailer so far. Great work, Chris. You know, recently we had a hard time finding content for the Death Diaries. I mean, we still do a lot of work on Son of Nord, but we do so many little small things that it doesn't seem worthwhile to show them all. Today though, I want to show you some of them. So basically we're polishing and I want to show you what exactly that means. First example, we added more life to the levels. Take the Radir for example, so the mage quarter in the beginning. It was just empty, there was nobody around, there were empty rooms and stuff and we filled those, giving it the more natural feel. Sleeping people, walking people, talking people. Secondly, comfort features. Those are features that are not necessarily required or even gameplay related, but make the entire feeling of the game and the entire experience of using it much more comfortable. For instance, if you don't play split screen, you don't need to select a controller anymore. Every controlling device that you plugged in just works. And only if you then add a second character, then you are able to choose a controlling device. Thirdly, player guidance. There are a lot of different things you can do to help the player find a way to progress. One thing is hints, obviously, you can turn them off. Or adding new information like a conversation log giving hints via NPC characters that maybe show you a shortcut or highlighting stuff with lights and attacks. Fourth, removing annoyances. Those can be very small things like for instance in the tutorial level we had this section where you needed to jump over this rock. Some players didn't quite make it the first time and fell down into that huge bush there. They didn't see anything anymore and it was annoying. Removing this bush would solve the issue immediately. Or here in this puzzle room we have two scarab packs. Those aren't a major threat to the player or anything. They were supposed to spice up the entire puzzling situation. But what happens instead is that the players didn't see them right away and they got attacked while they were thinking about the puzzle, distracting them entirely and really throwing them out of their logic. So it's an annoyance. Now we just move them a little closer to the entrance so the player fights them right away and the problem is solved. Fifth. Improving the game feel, like for instance making heavy looking stones also feel heavy. Not only when you're decaying them, but when you're running against them they shouldn't move. Not like this anyways. Or for instance these boulders here. You have to use them and move them quite a bit with telekinesis. But they take forever, so just reducing the mass solves the problem. Another example is to add additional checkpoints to sections where players die a lot. For instance here you can die quite easily if you're not very used to jump and run situations. So we add this additional save point halfway through, with the outer box being the activation volume and the inner box being the spawn area. Last but not least, adding new awesome features. For instance you can now find collectibles during the story mode which allow you to spawn enemies inside the proving grounds. This way you can train and fight them as you will. Or another very cool feature is lava cooling. And there's so much more. So you can see there's a lot of very small stuff that helps a lot to improve the overall game. Wait guys, one more thing. According to your feedback, we're now going to switch to a two week cycle. So we are going to release a death diary every two weeks now. So this was it. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's Death Diary and I hope to see you in two weeks then. Bye guys!